I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you some of the genius that is Jason Hour. Here are some of his Jasonisms. One time he looked at me and said, "You know, Frankenstein killed his master." <laughs> and I think we know it. <laughs> is that he night. trying to kill you? Yeah. Uh, he said, "There's going to be a reconfiguration of society, and people like me are going to rise up and gain control." Not for long. Yeah, I would say. Uh, he was talking about his band. He was in a band for a while. He said, my band is like a freight train of demons going through your living room at 15 miles per hour. <laughs> 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 there's, there's so many good things about that statement. Yeah. <laughs> one, one time he told me he gave a girl a massage and said, and she said, I'm not bitter at my mother anymore. <laughs> he, he has these amazing massages, apparently. Uh, Fifty-five, eight, seventy. Now, okay. Pay Fifty more bucks. Okay, I'll keep 50 reading bucks Jason's. For Jason's keep, shit. keep adding. There you go. Uh, we only have four hours left, guys. Uh, uh, we Jason, can do it. Hey, this is my favorite. Everyone's delusional until they're successful. And I went, well, that's pretty profound. And he goes, yeah, I could be your Darth Vader. <laughs> and then one time, I told him he was being cocky. He goes, I'm not acting cocky. I'm just playing a role. Life is a role. I'm just playing a different role. All right. Okay. Pretty deep. Uh, depth. When we were discussing rape once, he said, I'd be on the top of the food chain in the prison system. I know I, I look rapey. I could rape women and men. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> don't I was drinking back then, don't, dude. Don't make eye contact with me, Jason. Don't. It, I was in a dark place back then. It man. sounded like you were in a dark place back then. It was hurting inside, bro. Uh, this was a good one. He told me one day. He, he said, is afraid to look at me. Look at me. <laughs> look be. at me. At, look at me. <laughs> after you hear this one, you're going to be terrified. He told me one day, you're violating the prime directive by meddling in the affairs of lower life forms and not allowing them to have a natural evolution. How much shrooms did you have before you said that? I don't remember saying that. What did you mean by that, Jason? I don't know. Maybe you were telling me about the way I dated girls. Oh, was it uh, just basically because you're just. I'm violating the prime directive by meddling in the affairs of lower your... life forms and not allowing them to have a natural evolution. I, when did I say that? You were high. Oh, my God. I don't even remember that. Yeah, this was my favorite, I think. <laughs> this government decided to go to war in Vietnam. They cost me my childhood. Don't post that. They are watching me. <laughs> <laughs> well, these things he said in real conversation or something? Yeah. Like these? I keep them close. <laughs> this is... This it's usually when we're driving to the airport. No, this is when I was giving you shit about collecting. You drive him to the airport? He no, drives he you drives to the airport. Me. That's what I meant. He I, I was giving him shit for collecting unemployment for like a year. And he goes, I go, the, you know, you're taking money from the government. He goes, this government decided to go to war in Vietnam. They cost me my childhood. Don't post that. They're watching me. <laughs> How did the Vietnam cost you your childhood? Because they sent my dad over there and he came back all fucked up and beat the shit out of everybody in the family. I'll do it. Serious. Here's what he said one time. This is name War Machine. He <laughs> said to me, here's a good one. June 7th, 2011. You know what's awesome about important people? Same bullet kills me that kills them. Wow. <laughs> That's like, have you ever read the, uh, the Andy Dick thing on, uh, I'm sorry, the Andy Dick, the Andy Warhol thing on Coca-Cola? It's pretty profound, and that's just like, Jason's just like the shitty, pessimistic version of it. They're like, everybody drinks Coke. Rich people, poor people, and they all have the exact same. It's a rich person doesn't get a but better Jason's Coke. Is about a but Jason's is about bullets, yeah. I walked up to him one day. He was standing outside a coffee shop, and he looks at I go, what's wrong? And he goes, nothing, unless loving you is wrong. <laughs> That's, That's actually funny. That's hot. One time I saw him, I go, are you working? He goes, I'm always working. <laughs> oh. I asked him about his friend. I go, what, who's that guy? And he goes, that's Greg. I go, what's he, what's he like? He goes, he's the kind of guy that would cause the Exxon Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> he would, man. He's a sweetheart, though. I'm sure. But oh, he would Greg, drive the boat. The real guy the was, reef. too. It's classic Greg, though. Uh, it's one always day, a Greg mm, thing to do. Yeah. One day you told me <laughs> that therapists in the 50s used to manually release women. And you go, I go, where'd you learn that? He goes, the Scientology Museum. Yeah, the Museum of Psychiatry. Have you gone to that? Mm -mm. And then you said bad rhymes with dad. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one. He was mad at a guy, and he said to the guy, I'd peel your f skin off and fuck your face. And I said, how do you do that, Jason? He goes, I start with the chode region, and then I cut, cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Then he was... 
Then it really is like art. It's like I'm pretty sure there's like a cadence to it. The way like Bill, Bill Shakespeare wrote like a cadence, like iambic pentameter. It was like, like it's just his experimental Bill Shakespeare. thoughts. You Bill know? Shakespeare. It's like Bobby De Niro, Bill Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. we're we're tight. I call him <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Bill Shakespeare. He said to me. Uh, he said to me one night. Barry Obama. Uh, um, <laughs> he was going on a date with Mr. Girl. Barry Obama. He was going on a date with a therapist. I said, "What's she like?" He goes, "She makes good money, and she can manage my mental health." <laughs> Two birds with one stone. One time we were driving by the Sherman Sherman Oaks Mall, and Jason points at it and goes, "I ran out of there once in a panic attack. I was temping at the Sizzler in their <laughs> accounting department." <laughs>